The word grammar is taken from the Greek language means the art of letter. The graphene means to write. So in general, it is the art of uh, writing. The way in which words are put together to form proper sentences. So we can define that grammar actually help us put together words in a way which are communicative, which are understandable. And this is how we uh, make sentences and different parts of or different constituents of sentences. When we come on to linguistics, grammar is the set of structural rules governing the composition of clauses. Structural rule. What is the structure of the clause? So in linguistic we study what is the structure of a clause. And grammar gives us rules of constructing the clauses. Composition of clauses, phrases. Similarly, as we know that phrases are uh, phrases make clauses. One or more than one phrase makes a clause. And words in any given natural language. So, in linguistics, we have a hierarchy. Words, words form phrases and phrases form clauses. So, in linguistics, when we look at grammar, we look at these things in a hierarchy. Word, phrases and then clauses. Grammar refers to cognitive information underlying language use. So, it refers to our mind. It, the way we, we think, the way we make decision, the way we uh, talk about certain uh, topics by arranging words, phrases into meaningful, uh, meaningful way. So, this is what basically a grammar is and it's... Uh, it refers to our cognitive knowledge and with the help of this we use language. Speakers of a language have a set of interna internalized rules for using that language. So internalized rules. So they, as this is a co uh, cognitive process, so we are, uh, according to the mentalist, have set of interna internalized rules in our minds and these internalized rules help us forming phrases, clauses and use language ultimately. The Babylonian uh, were, were the first people to attempt or to talk about grammar but uh, they didn't do much. They, they didn't give any systematic theory of uh, language or about grammar. The first systematic gram grammars of Sanskrit originated at Iron Age. So it was not the Greeks but the Hindus in the subcontinent who first talked about grammar. Right? So we come to know that Yaska talked about grammar or how sentences are formed, how uh, words are put into a meaningful holes to generate uh, phrases and clauses in 6th century BC. But the main work in systematic grammar comes from Panini in the 4th century. He is known as the first modern grammarian. He gave the uh, rules of grammar. Uh, we get almost... Uh, 4,000 rules of grammar in his book. So then, Pingala 200 uh, BC and Patanjali uh, in second, they were the commentator. Actually, they were the people who gave commentaries on uh, Panini's uh, grammar. So, English has strict rules for combining words into phrases. And when we come on to English language, we get a very uh, precise rule uh, because the ru these rules have been uh, transferred to us or passed on to us from Latin language. So, the grammarians follow them in letter and spirit. 
for example we get rules in which we come to know how noun phrases are made and we know that the good boy is a noun phrase it has an article an adjective and a noun the verb phrase has an auxiliary or mate may be a modal verb as well and a main verb adjective phrase very beautiful consist of an adverb or adjective an adverb phrase quite easily may be uh, may may be constructed on an ad other adverb and an adverb and a preposition phrase to the park consist of a preposition plus a noun phrase a noun phrase can be single noun or a, an article plus noun or an article plus adjective or plus noun so different languages have different ways of sequencing phrases or clauses or uh, their own sentences we know that uh, for example if we try to translate uh, any sentence of english into urdu we know that the arrangement of the word is or the sequencing of the word is different uh, the, from uh, from english so similarly when we uh, come across different languages we ca we know that uh, the sequencing of word uh, is different in uh, languages however there are some similarities that uh, in any phrase there may be the similar sequencing that adjective plus noun uh, or noun plus adjective so through grammar we know that how we can construct sentences how we can sequence words into phrases and into clauses